channel. So today's video is a get ready with me video. I know a lot of you guys like these get ready with me videos, so I thought I would film it since I was invited to the Billboard Music Awards once again this year. I got to go last year and it was amazing. So I'm super excited that I get to go again this year. I'm gonna show you guys how I get ready for it, like how I do my hair, how I did my makeup, and what I'll be wearing to the event. So I hope you guys like this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and I'm just gonna let you guys get right into the video. When I get ready for an event, I like to start by getting a good old stretch because I know I have a long day ahead of me. Then I like to take a look at what needs to be taken care of and today, it is them pits. So to get rid of this her right here, I'm going to take my Nair Moroccan Argan Oil Glide Away Hair Remover. You just pop it open and you twist the product out like so, kind of like a deodorant. They also improved their scent and I just really like how it smells now. On top of that, it's a moisturizing formula so it will not dry out your skin. So I like to spread a thick layer over the hair and you just want to make sure you spread it evenly across them pits so you won't have one lonely hair by the time you're done. I like doing this because it lasts longer than shaving and since I'm not shaving I don't have to worry about cutting myself and getting scars and depending on how thick your hair is you want to leave it on for about three to ten minutes I like to leave mine on for five minutes so I like to take a damp paper towel and I just wipe away like so once I have everything wiped off I like to hop in the shower and just give my body a good rinse and ta-da pretty clean armpits as for my hair, I have a lot of baby hair, so updos usually don't work too well for me. So to keep it simple for myself, I am just gonna go with my natural looking voluminous waves. I wrapped my hair in a hair bun the night before to get these nice heatless looking waves. And since I'm working with second day hair, I'm gonna take my Batiste Dry Shampoo in blush. And I'm just going to spritz this over my hair to just refresh it and give it tons of volume. I really like this scent in blush because it smells like flowers and candy. So you wanna make sure you give your dry shampoo a good shake and then you're going to give short spritz to your hair about 10 to 12 inches away then massage it through your scalp evenly so that you don't have any white marks and that is all I do I've been really loving this Batiste dry shampoo because it instantly refreshes my hair and it smells great now on to my makeup I have already prepped and primed my face so it's ready for foundation I will list all the products I used in the description box so if you're wondering what I used it will all be there so for foundation make sure you're using one that matches your skin of course and works with your skin type the one I'm using is mattifying so it's great for my super oily skin then I start filling in my eyebrows with a pomade I'm using a pomade because it's more long-lasting than any other products I've used and I need my eyebrows to last in that Vegas heat you don't want it melting off or anything then I finish off my eyebrows with a brow pencil to get those really hard to reach areas just to make sure there is no empty spots on my brows for for my eye look, I'm going to do my current favorite smoky eye. I'm not sure if I'm going to end up wearing the dress I wore in this video to the event, so to be safe, I'm just going with a nice smoky eye that works with all outfits. Here I am using a eyeshadow pencil as my base because it helps my eyeshadow really pop and stay on. Then I like to blend it out with my fingertips. Now I am just taking a powder eyeshadow that is really close in color to the cream shadow I just used and I'm just patting this all over my lids to create a very nice iridescent lid. And after that for my crease I'm going to take a medium brown. This brown is slightly darker than my skin tone and I'm just going to take that onto my crease kind of as a transition color. And I'm also going to take it deep into my socket so that it creates a crease since you know a sister ain't got one. Then for my outer corner I'm just taking a black matte eyeshadow and I'm patting that into the outer corner just carefully placing it so that it's not all smudgy I really want it to be defined on the corners and that you can see all three shades I'm using right here to highlight my brow bone, I just took a white eyeshadow with no shimmers in it and I'm just putting that onto my brow bone with a fluffy brush I mean, we are doing a night look, so a little shimmer never hurt nobody. So I am taking my favorite, favorite shimmer eyeliner pencil and I'm just placing that in my inner corners. This just really opens up the eye and it just makes the eye look so sensual. Now I'm taking the same eyeshadow I used all over my lids and I'm taking that onto my bottom lash line just to balance out my eyes and then the usual some mascara just to prep my lashes for fake eyelashes. 
I have really been loving gel eyeliner lately. It usually smudges on me, but this one works great. I just really like how dark it looks and it's so easy to apply. So I am doing a small little wing at the end just to give my eyes a little more drama. And I also went in with some eyeliner in my tight line just to blend my lashes. And you guys know me, I do not ever do a look without falsies. So if you guys don't want to wear falsies, go ahead and coat your lashes with lots of mascara. But here I just popped some on and I feel like it really finished off the eye look. I also went ahead and gave myself a light contour. I'm just using my contour palette. I am buffing that onto the hollows of my cheekbone and also up onto my temples and a little bit on my jawline. I was really going for that sun-kissed look so I took another bronzer with a little shimmer in it and I'm just placing that on the apples of my cheeks. And to really top off the look, I decided to go with a pinky nude gloss. I didn't want to use anything that would take away from the smoky eye. You guys know the drill. You want to make sure it's balanced on top and bottom. Now I am just applying a little bit of powder to set my makeup and we are done. This look is complete. Before I go, I just wanted to give a special thank you to Nair and Batiste for partnering with me in this video. I'm really loving how voluminous and texturized my hair looks and feel, and my armpits are on fleek right now, so shout out to you. And for my dress, this probably looks familiar to some of you because I actually wore it in a previous video. I'm not sure if I want to wear this to the event or get a different dress, so please, please help a sister out and let me know what you think. No, really, like, give me your honest opinion. I need your help. And thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you all in a later video. In the meantime, take care and I love you. Very nice white denim. It's a very nice thick material without being too hard. I really like these overalls. Ton of pockets. It's just a very basic denim.